Hey everybody, it's Jen with Two Sister Bees. Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing my weekly cash stuffing. I have my new binders with some new envelopes. I'm so excited about getting into those. We will also have my no spend days. We're gonna check in and once we're done, I'm gonna clear out this envelope for the end of the year and find out where this money is gonna go. And speaking of no spend, I got my no spend workbook yesterday in the mail from my sister. So we're going to go over this for next year. I'm so excited. I am going to also be giving you guys a personal mini challenge for the week. We haven't done one of those in a little while. And last but not least, I have two MVB channels of the week to share with all of our newbies. We've got $1,152 to stuff today. Let's get into it. The first thing we wanna do is count this up and make sure we have $1,152. Here we go, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80, 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, and 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 1, and 2. Yes, we do have $1,152 to stuff today. So last week's video was so much fun, you guys. I really am excited about the new year and starting off on the right foot with having everything situated and ready to go. And I hope you're ready too. So what are we going to do first? Let's do this first. Okay, so the last time I checked in with you guys was last Friday, December 8th. Today is December 15th. Let's see how many days I spent that was not budgeted for. Okay, yesterday was a definite. Oh no, today's Friday. We're gonna cover that up. That's a green day, whoopsie. Okay, so yesterday was a definite spend day and I'll tell you guys what I did yesterday. And before that, we have the 11th and that is because my oldest daughter, oh, her and her girlfriend have COVID, poor little babies, and they didn't have any food in the house. They go shopping on Mondays and obviously they could not go to the grocery store. So mom had to Instacart them some food. So that was not planned. So that would be my Monday spend day. And as I said yesterday, I had quite a spend day. So that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, no spend days. And I put away $5 per day, so that is 25, 25 being added into my no spend. So we are actually going to go ahead and clear this out for the year. And I'm gonna let you guys know where this is going, or should I say where, where it's already gone? Okay, let's count it up. One, two, three, four, five, 620, 40, 60, 65, 70. 670 dollars, and here's where it's going. So yesterday, I went to the mall, <laughs> and I wanted to get a few new things for our trip to Palm Springs. We are leaving Monday. I'm unbelievably excited about this trip, and so is Jason. So we're going out to a very special dinner, and we are also going to a special brunch while we're there, and I wanted to have some nice new things to wear. So needless to say, my no spend money is going towards that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this towards what I spent yesterday. And you guys, no regrets. I absolutely love everything I picked up yesterday at the mall. I am very happy with my purchases. So this money is going to that. And I feel like I definitely worked for it, right? I know I did. I did work for that. So that is where my no spend money is going. And if you've been following along, you know that earlier in the year, I actually had to empty out my no spend envelope. And it was for a medical emergency in the family. So... What's left gets to go to mama, yes. And here is what I'll be using next year. This is a very in-depth, no spend workbook that April has created for all of us. I went through it yesterday when I got it in the mail. I love 
the way that she laid this out. It is super smart. And the great thing about no spend is obviously this is to change your spending habits. And this is going to help with everything else, keeping your budget on track, paying off your debt, saving up for your $1,000 emergency fund. This is going to get us there, right? So let's check this out really quick. Here she's got what each section is for, why it's there and what you do with it, which is good. We all need instructions. And then at the beginning, we're going to put our no spend rules, the reasons we're doing this, our goals. Then we've got our 30 day no spend tracker. Ooh, a temptation log, things that tempt you to spend. And then after 30 days, you ask yourself, do you still want it? This is perfect. I love this. Impulse spend log, unplanned purchases. You write them down here, keep track of what you're doing out there in the world, you guys. All right, and then once you do these impulse purchases, you gotta ask yourself a few questions, and I love this. What was the reason for the purchase? What can you do to avoid it next time? Do you regret it? That's my big word, regret. Do I regret what I bought yesterday? Nope. Okay, so then she does it again. So you've got two, three. Okay, so this is for three months you could do this. Love it. Thank you, April. I cannot wait to start using this next year. And if you want a no spend workbook, I do! in the description below for you guys. Okay, let's get to this cash stuffing. Let me get my cash planning sheet. Okay, it's kind of where I can see it. Let's just go in order and start with the bee binder. Okay, we've got husband. And as I said, he is getting 150 a week from now on because I am going to be buying his uh, cigarettes <laughs> once a month. I, I It's got to be done. The dings every single day at the gas station, too much. So husband now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 750. You know, if you're new and you're wondering why does he have $750 in there, we've also been saving up for our trip. It is also his birthday. So most of this is his spending money. I think 500 of it actually is just spending money for him on this trip. Little Miss Jolene, she gets 25 every week. This is for her college fund and she is now up to 50. Jolene is our precious little two-year-old granddaughter. She's our only granddaughter so far. Uhtred's food. This is my new envelope that is dedicated just to his food. I make Uhtred's food because of his allergies. So I wanted to keep it separate from my groceries. And he is getting 70. And the reason he's getting so much this week is I actually have to make basically like a triple batch of his food for the trip because I'm not making his food while we're on vacation. So I need to do it before we even go. So Uhtred has 50, 70, 80, 85, 86 dollars. And this is gonna be spent later today. I gotta run to the store and get all of his stuff. Uhtred's care. Little Mr. gets 25 this week. And he is doing completely better now. That Hive incident um, last, last week. Guys, that was so scary, but he is fine. 125 he has in his care envelope. No more golf course walks, unfortunately. Nails. As you can see, I got my nails done. So this is empty and we're going to start putting $15 a week in there so that I am ready when it's time with tip and everything. Love that. Lashes. I also got my lashes done the other day, 40, but we're going to just keep this in here because I want to get one session in here and she charged me 90. She's a new girl. Yes, I went to a new girl and she was 90 plus the tip obviously. So we'll stick with this 80 and next week I will have what I need. Hair gets 34, 20, 30, one, two, three, four. And let's see what we're up to. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 68 dollars. And I don't know if I told you guys this, but I am actually letting my gray hair grow out. Some people think it's crazy, but I think I've got about this much in roots now and they don't bother me at all. 
I'm very curious to see where this goes, but my hair appointments now are just to uh, pull up my extensions. So there's no bleach or hair dye going on, no root appointments, and I am in and out, and I love it. I'm saving so much time. Forget the money. I'm saving time, and that is probably the most important thing. Okay, and that leads us to another very important thing in my life. <laughs> wine. Is that bad? I don't think it's bad. All right, let's see what we got in here. So I've got 40, and I have a feeling this will be spent on vacation. I'm sure I'll be clearing out that envelope before I go. Take out. Okay, you guys, I am giving 25, but I actually, and I never do this, I stopped at McDonald's the other day. I got a Big Mac and I loved it. It was so good. I sat in the car and chowed my Big Mac and my french fries and I talked to my sister on the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and take back, I'd say it was about $12. So I'm going to take back 13 for my Big Mac meal. So worth it. And takeout now has 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. We have not been doing DoorDash. So proud. All done with the bee binder. Let's move on to the white one. So we're done with no spend and we will see this next year. And now that I'm looking at the dashboard, I just remembered my sister also sent some little goodies. I forgot about this. This is a temptation card. You put this in your wallet in front of your debit card, put it in front of your debit card. And it's gonna make you remember you're on a no spend challenge. Thank you, April. And here's the new dashboard. I love it. So we'll be putting that in there. Let's go ahead and do that. What the heck, right? Let's get these binders 100% ready to go. I love it. I love how that one looks. And she sent me a Deck the Halls Christmas tracker. Ooh, what is going on here? New scratch-offs. Yes, we've got Gnome Spend. And this one is the Golden Ticket. Find the hat and save 20 bucks. And then on the back, she's doing those double-sided scratch-offs. I told her that I love them, so she's continuing, which is great. These are awesome. Thank you, April. Let's add these to my <laughs> amazing stack of scratch-offs. I love them. Okay, so we're skipping no spend, and we're moving on to Emerge and B. That gets 50 every week. I will be putting $50 every week into this Emerge and B. As I said last week, forever and ever. You guys gotta love that, right? Forever and ever. All right, let's pick a color. And I think I'm gonna go with brown. And let's color in five. And add our 50. And I know how much is in here, but you might not. So let's count it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 750, 770, 790, 95. $800. I love it. Saving money is so much more exciting to me than spending. Okay, date night. I'm actually going to skip it this week. <laughs> I would say that a 10-day vacation is date night enough, but we are going to take this money with us that I have in here. So we'll start this again next year. Amazon is getting 20 and I am really going to stick with what I've budgeted in this envelope starting next year. I am not going to, I have 40, spend on Amazon. I feel like lately I've been spending a lot on there, but I will say a lot of it has been for the channel. So I don't feel too guilty about it, but at the same time, I really need to start asking myself about the other items. Do I really need them? Giveaways is getting 10. And we are now up to, 20. We are all done with the white binder. Okay, halfway through, let's talk about our personal mini challenge. If you're new to the channel, we haven't done one in a while, but every cash stuffing video, I try to give you guys basically homework <laughs> to help you save money in a way that maybe you didn't think about or maybe you haven't been doing and it's just meant to be a little booster for your savings. So this week, what I want you to do, and actually it's going to run into the next year, and this is why I'm doing this one today, I want you, if you haven't already, 
to do your budget. I want you to do it. If you haven't, set up your budget. Now is the best time. At the end of December, Christmas is about over. Do this for January. Get prepared. This is a freebie. It's linked below for you guys. Print it out. Write down your budget. Do it. Moving on to the yellow binder. Okay, my car tag gets 24, 20, one, two, three, and four. And it now has 20, 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, $48. Car insurance gets 22. 22. This one actually looks like it needs to be consolidated. I will probably do that at my next cash stuffing. Let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nine, eighteen. Car maintenance is getting 100. So car maintenance has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think my goal, like when I would stop stuffing this, is when it's at a thousand. That seems reasonable to me. So once it hits that, I will start skipping it. But okay, getaways. This one is getting 100 because we are about to go on a getaway. And I have to tell you guys that all of this cash stuffing that I've been doing with the getaways and Jason's envelope and the no spend that I just used for some clothes, if I was not cash stuffing, we would probably be using a credit card. So I am so grateful for cash stuffing. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Nice, 600 bucks. Medical, super important envelope, gets 200. And I think I mentioned I do go to the dentist on the 4th, uh, and that should be my last appointment for a while as far as, like, work goes. Cleanings are another thing, but I do have to give them a couple thousand, so I already know that that's where this money is going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, eleven hundred. So I'm over halfway, which is awesome. Big give, we are skipping because we just did trim the tree. That was our donation envelope and I have $230. I am going to be stopping when I go to the grocery store to get Uhtred's food. I'm gonna give all of that to the Feeding the Communities. It's $10 a bag that will feed 23 families. So that's where that is going to be going today. IRA funding, getting 100. Let's see what we're up to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve hundred. And now we are moving on to the black binder. Okay, so we've got Home Sweet Home, which is my rent. And if you watched my savings challenge video, you know that I swapped out the 2410 that I had in cash for prop money, and I went ahead and put that in the bank. And since so much was added to this envelope by taking every penny I had in my savings challenges, this one's getting skipped this week and we're going to move on to electric. And this one is getting 10. And I really like that I started this envelope for the summer months when my electric bills get out of control. I will be ready. Love that. I've got, what, at least five months to build that up. That's going to be awesome. Verizon is getting 10 and this is for that phone Ugh. I'm gonna get this over with soon too okay groceries I usually stuff this with 150 but Jason went to the grocery store this past Sunday and he spent 155 so that is a total wash he's been making these really cool meals for football Sundays Two weeks ago, he made these Philly cheesesteaks. Oh my gosh, you guys, they were so good. And he made onion rings and he made a homemade version of In-N-Out sauce. If you know what In-N-Out sauce is, you know. And then he made these homemade Big Macs because I just said your girl loves her Big Macs and he knows it. So he did that for me. 
and they were so good, you guys. I will link the recipe for those Big Macs down below for you guys if you're interested. I sent it to April and I think she is going to be making them as well. They are so good and so easy. So groceries is getting skipped. Winona gets 19, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And this one has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 38. And my big Berkey, this is my water filter that I'm saving up for. And this one is getting 58. The plan for this is that it will save me money in the long run. I will not be getting the five gallon jugs delivered anymore. So I know this is gonna save me money in the long run. So we're putting 55 a week for two months. And then I should have enough to buy it. So it has 50, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 116. And since we're all done with these binders, you're probably wondering where this $10 bill is going. And it is going into my birthday binder. This is another new thing that I'm doing for 2024. I used to have all of the birthdays combined into one envelope and a lot of our birthdays fall at the same time. We've got March, October, and December, I would say are loaded with birthdays for us. So I went ahead and did this instead and I put them in order from January all the way back to the end of the year and I think this is gonna work out much better. And our first birthday for the year is in February. And we're gonna add, each balloon is worth 10. So we're gonna add 10, color one balloon. And she is up to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 120. You know, if you're wondering why she has 120, it's because she got a little bonus <laughs> uh, on a savings challenge video. She got an extra 30 bucks. If you're thinking that doing a birthday binder might be a good idea for you, these trackers are a download they are in my Etsy shop. I will put that link below for you guys you as well. To... Okay, everybody, it is time for the MVB channels of the week. I have two. I have a seasoned channel and we have a new channel for you guys. If you're new to cash stuffing and you're looking for some good content, I've done the work for you. And here they are. This week we have Cash Monet Budgets. This is our newer channel. Her name is Joy. She has a beautiful setup. I love the way she has everything. She has been cash stuffing for six months and her channel is very consistent. She uploads all of the things that we love. You guys already know the cash stuffing, the savings challenges, it's all there for you. What I really liked about her channel is she plays this really soft, relaxing music in the background. Just a little bonus for you guys, just to chill out and enjoy the video and she is very chatty and she seems like a total sweetheart. The channel is actually dedicated to her sister and I was very touched when she shared with everyone that when she thought about starting her channel she could hear her sister saying to her do it just do it and I just loved hearing about how close her and her sister were and I want you guys to go check her out because she has quickly become one of my favorites. Okay, so we're gonna stick with the Monet theme and our seasoned channel is Sierra Monet. A lot of you might already know her. She is one of the first ones that I watched here on YouTube. Her setup is actually what made me click the very first time. It is pink and it is gorgeous. Her personality is actually what keeps me watching though. She's very personable and open. She works hard, you guys. She is a mom of three. She is super smart. And I feel like she's a really good role model for the younger generation because you guys, this girl is making moves over there. So definitely check her out as well. So we have our new channel is Cash Monet Budgets and we have our season channel is Sierra Monet. So definitely check out our MVB channels of the week. You will not regret it.
And if you haven't subscribed to Two Sister Bees yet, now is the time to hit that button. You guys, in the last 28 days, we have added 826 new subbies. Oh my God, I am so excited. And Two Sister Bees hit another milestone. We are up to 950,000 views total. I am like, what? I still can't believe it. This channel has grown so fast and I want to thank each and every one of you for spending your time with me, leaving your comments and your likes and being a part of the hive. It means so much to me in April. We love each and every one of you. Now don't cry, but I will not be posting a savings challenge video on Sunday because we are leaving to go out of town on Monday and I have so much to do to get ready. So I hope you guys understand and this will be it until next year. I will see you guys after the first of the year. I will miss you. Check the community posts because I am certain that I will be posting some photos of our trip for you guys. Have a wonderful Christmas, holiday, new year, all of the things. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to cash stuffing and you are wondering how to get started with cash stuffing, right here is step one. Gotta get that budget going. Click here and find out how.